Hello everybody, it's Jamie, as you all now well know, and today we're gonna talk about the disappearance of the SS Kobana slash the sinking of the ship. So uh, let's always first begin with uh, the specifications of the ship and a little background history. So the Kombana measured 103.7 meters in length, 14.7 meters wide and a 6.3 meter draft. She was around 3670 gross registered tons, fitted with triple expansion engines, powering single shafts and reaching a speed of 14 and a half knots. She was built by the Stephen and Sons Limited and was launched on 27 October 1908 and serviced for the Adelaide SSCO Point LTD. Now the Combana was put to service on the West Australian coast and would be able to carry a reasonable amount of cargo and a quantity of livestock too. For standards of the time, the ship was quite the vessel, to beyond despite the unique livestock passenger ship mix. Combana had her smoking rooms and drawing rooms, decorated lavishly with heavy attention towards colors. She was also fitted with colored stained wood and so much more that you wouldn't believe you're on a ship, and was well ventilated all throughout the ship. The services and equipment on board were comparable to that of the British giants, the Lusitania and the Mauritania. The ship would be completed in late December 1909 and made a long trip from the United Kingdom all the way to Australia, making stops in South Africa to refuel. The ship would make her maiden voyage to Derby on 12 March 1909, from Geraldton to Canavorn, arriving in around three days, but would run aground on the morning of the 15th, delaying her arriving, and didn't seem like that the ship was going off to a good... In fact, the ship would go on to have many other incidents throughout her short lifespan, such as running aground multiple times and she had multiple times fire coming out of her cargo holds. Now the ship was making another departure on 20 March 1912, inbound for Broome, with about 150 on board. Following her was the SS Ballora, which later reported that the Kumbana may take longer than expected to reach her port. Eventually, hours later, the Kumbana would never be seen again. So during this voyage, the weather was terrible. Huge waves, rain of course, pretty big winds. It was terrible. Even talk, it was even talked that there was a cyclone during that voyage. Bulara, the ship following the Kumbana, had limped into Kozak after sustaining damages, such as her funnel being ripped off the ship. However, nothing was heard of from the Kombana, and the public suspected that the ship lost radio frequency, as the Bulara had her funnel torn off. However, as the days passed, the concern of the missing ship Kobana grew more and eventually a search for the missing 150 passengers and the ship were sent out on the 2nd of April. A vessel came across a debris field of what was expected to be of the Combana and managed to recover planking of the starboard bow of a motor launch. They also managed to recover a stateroom door and a panel from the promenade deck, and some planking of lifeboats. Sometime later, air tanks were found, was the shore close by. The Court of Marine Inquiry reported in May found that the fate of the Kumbana was passed beyond human knowledge, 
and the ship is determined lost at sea. Now for the theory of how the ship could have been sunk. Since there was a stateroom found, it makes me believe that the ship could have been broken near the midsection of the ship. But as to how? Well, the ship could have been riding in high waves and at some point was exposing most of our draft, above which put the ship at a high risk of capsizing. At some point, as the waves were getting higher and the ship was constantly coming in and out of the water, it put major stress on the hull, which started to break apart, and soon the ship was torn into pieces. Both after and bow sections capsized and the waves swallowed the ship in minutes and took the 150 on board down with the ship with none of them having a chance to escape. And that is the end of a video. And this is clearly once again a maritime mystery, as we might never know what happened to the ship, as uh, her wreck hasn't been found yet. So hopefully somebody will pick up this sad disappearance and will actually look for the wreck and then of course we will know what actually happened to the ship. Um, but this is also a forgotten ship. Uh, this ship is not that much talked about, so I thought I would shine a little bit light on it, of course. Um, but like I say again, it's the end of the video, and I quickly want to thank all the new subscribers who have subscribed. That really means a lot to me, that so many of you like my content, and uh, it makes me feel happy. And that is something that I'm extremely grateful for. Um, I'm also grateful for the comments that some of you have put in the description. Uh, I love reading your comments and also that makes me feel amazing. Um, if you have friends who like ocean liners or ships, uh, please show them my channel. We are now trying to reach the 600 subscribers and I know we can do that together, my friends. Uh, if you have any thoughts or comments, leave them in the in a comment section down below uh, like i again say i love reading them so my friends i wish you a good night or day wherever you are and we will see each other then on the next one goodbye